Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has been in the game for more than three decades, mm. rocking with the group Arrested Development and giving us hits like People Every mm. Day or Everyday People and Tennessee. Mm. And now he's become a filmmaker out with a new documentary called 16 Bars. Let's take a look. I've been coming back and forth to jail since I was 10 years old, man. That's just, I made a career out of that. I think I'll get one more shot, though. And I think it'll be my last one. Make what you've been through count. You gotta speak your truth. That's what's gonna free you. The root of your anger, your anguish, speak it. And then let it go. Okay, I'm ready. Wow, My please God. welcome down to the circle, Grammy Award winning rapper, Speed. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Power, power. Just stand like this. How That's are all you? Come on. Stand like right. this. We're I'm so grateful to have you here. Yes. It's My good goodness. for me to be here. Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. It's beautiful thank morning. You. Great vibes. Y'all energy is yes. amazing. Yes, thank you. We try. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all do it. We are you're, very you're intentional about doing it. Doing it. Yes. doing it and doing it well. We are okay. intentional about our energy. We pray for it every single day. We protect our energy. I feel that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel so that. that's it's why. Yeah. So before we get into the documentary, let's talk about your energy and how you've been in the game for 30 years with the rest of development and so many other things. And also black music honors. We were yeah, there to so see everyone stunned. honor oh you. Gosh. How does it feel to feel to, to be so well received and so well respected after all these years? You know, it's funny. I, I, I was literally blown away and I felt like I probably would tear up. I didn't, but some of the group members we all did because it was the first time many of the original members were on stage together. Yes. Mm. And um, since, I don't know, I don't mm. know how many years. Look at that. Right. Uh, telemarketer. Right. Tele <laughs> it wouldn't be a tell. No, anyway, so um, it was it was an amazing experience and just so honored. Yes. And especially for it to take place here in Atlanta. Oh. So let me turn this off. Yeah, thank you. Me. We appreciate yeah. that. That's all right. Live television. Yeah. We love you, Speedy. I mean, it's, yeah. just, it's, 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 it is it's live television. It is. There you go. There you, go. you know what I want to know, though? Because we, we still listen to your music down to the makeup thank room. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Back then, you were already conscious, mm -hmm. quote unquote, woke, you know, what, what the term that they use now. And you all were intentional about um, portraying a message yeah. of positivity and forward movement. Yeah. Um, why and why is that important that that is still incorporated in music today? Mm. Well, we stand on the shoulders of our ancestors, literally. Mm. And all the fights, all of the blood, all of the, you know, torment that we've been through as a people, we stand on those shoulders, so we yeah. have an obligation not only to them, but to the future generations, just mm -hmm. like they felt that they had for us. Mm -hmm. So I continue for that reason, but not only that, my mom and pop were activists in the civil rights movement. And so my mother owns the oh, largest black newspaper mm -hmm. in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. it's called the Milwaukee Community Journal. She's owned it for mm -hmm. 43 years. My goodness. Mm -hmm. And so I grew up around that atmosphere mm -hmm. of trying to find the solutions for us as a people, yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And the struggle that we've been through, making that struggle count. Yeah. Do you think that music nowadays has um, gotten away from that or is on a decline or is there an artist that you can think of that is actually um, moving forward with that same insurgent? Sample the Great is really, really great. Kendrick Lamar is great. Mm -hmm. J. Cole is great. It's, it's a lot of great artists, uh -huh. right? And, but yes, to answer your question, I think we have gotten away from that and we should never get away from it. Yeah. Right. The reason is, is like some people say that it's cool to have a cycle uh -huh. and it, go, it comes back in style. I don't believe that. I think that we always need to have a constant diversity of opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whenever our music gets too um, pigeonholed, then we are losing the diversity of our community yeah. and our community's voices matter yeah. and so we have to keep that diversity of thought and that diversity of content yeah, yeah. yes yeah. speaking about you know keeping diversity and we, we have to start with our youth so let's talk Always. about a victory spot yeah yeah my wife and I my queen we've been together for 29 oh, years come on, queen. Queen. Yes. Yes. Queen. Re -re -re his wife. yes yes 29 years we've been together and we, it was actually her idea. We've been touring throughout the world. She's like, we need to do a school. Cause I was complaining a lot about where the music landscape mm -hmm. had gotten and the messages that was so, just overly on one point. Yeah. It was like, we should do something about it. And she's, she suggested a victory spot. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. we've done that for four years now. We teach young kids the arts, but also teach them how to make it in the industry, but keeping their soul, keeping their whole vision wow. intact. Because you were able to do that beautifully well. That's why, yeah. I, you know, she felt like that was the best thing for my role to be. So yeah. That, yeah. that's what we do. Education yeah. is key. Absolutely. Yeah. We got to take a break. But when we return, Speak will tell us, Speech will tell us about his documentary, 16 Bars, and so much more. Stay Come with on. us. A documentary. Yes. If I could go back to when I was young. These are men that are behind bars, but they still have voices. I'd undo the things. 
things I've done. I'm making an album. This music is capturing this moment in time. Listen now, son, you better think twice. I want to lay my burden down. My God. Wow, Welcome right? back to Sister That's Circle beautiful. Live. We are still joined with Arrested Development's speech. Man, so we just saw, again, a clip from 16 Bars. Why yeah. was it so important for you to tap into these men's stories? Well, I always had a deep love for the brothers and sisters that are locked away because, first of all, many of them are there unjustifiably. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw a special on CNN, uh, with Lisa Ling, she mm -hmm. had this special where in a particular jail, the sheriff had allowed the dads to have a daddy-daughter dance. Wow. And when I saw that, I said, well, wow, that's not usual, that they will have that type of vision to allow that to, that to happen. And so I wanted to call, and I called that particular jail. It was in Richmond, Virginia, and saw if, you know, wanted to see if I could go in there and do music and, you know, do sort of like a, a reach out thing. Oh and it took about two years because we had to work through a lot of red tape, a lot of, a lot of legalities go mm -hmm. on when you're dealing with someone that's locked behind bars. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I did that for two years and then finally filmed it um, three years. In, and uh, we followed these men's lives for about a year and a half, and it's absolutely powerful. Riveting. It's it powerful. Just that, just that one yeah. clip, right? It is. And the sound it's amazing. And the After spending that much time um, with them, what yeah. is probably one of the biggest takeaways? I mean, you already went in there with a, uh, you know, with a, a, pre a preconceived agenda yeah. to kind of put the light on what's going on. But what did you personally take away? Yeah. There's a lot of things, but one of the things I took away was, first of all, so many of them were in for nonviolent crimes. Mm. And we now, like, as black people, we've unfortunately been treated with nonviolent crimes with prison. And now there's this new talk of, you know, it's a health issue. When you're in there for drugs, for instance, it's a health issue. You should deal with it from that perspective. And I think that these men deserve that exact same reality. Mm -hmm. and um, these men and women. And also, I think that it was moving to see just how talented yes. the people are and what we're missing out here when you put someone away or give these harsh treatments. You guys were talking about that earlier. Harsh treatments for something that will not reform them. Mm -hmm. And another thing, the last thing I'd say is that 95% of people that are in prison are coming out. Mm -hmm. And so we have a choice to make. We have a choice to make if we want them to be reformed or if we just want them to be harder criminals. That's right. Well, thank you so much, Speech. Please keep up with his documentaries and music by following him on Instagram, Speech underscore underscore. Let's give it up for Speech. Yay. Thank you. Thank you.